Hey, hey everyone, welcome to the American Jedi channel. Back at it again with the white vans. Maybe not. So this is my little car dealership. Uh, I have these three cars here. Uh, full disclosure, the Lexus is being sold. So that's the most expensive car here and um, just wanted to do a little downgrading, you know, for financial reasons. And uh, so I'm getting rid of the Lexus. We got a 19 Subaru Outback. A 17 MKZ and a 19 ES350. So today we're going to compare the Lexus and the Lincoln because they're direct competitors, uh, especially in the hybrid segment. There is no hybrid car that is um, the same size besides the Lincoln and the ES350, or actually it would be the uh, ES300H and the Lincoln MKZ 2.0H. So this right here, this Lincoln is the 2.0 T turbo. Um, so it is the, um, basically the starting engine. They make three engines. They make the hybrid, they make the um, 2.0 four cylinder, and they make a six cylinder twin turbo that pushes 400 horsepower, 400 pound feet of torque if you get the all wheel drive. This is also a four, uh, forward wheel drive. The all wheel drives are available on the four cylinder and the six cylinder, not on the hybrid. So this is just forward wheel drive only or front wheel drive forward. <laughs> they all go forward, right? So anyways, let's uh, start off this owner's review. I've owned the Lexus for a little over a year and I've owned the MKZ for about five days now. So, I can't give you a long-term review on the Lincoln yet, but I will come back to that uh, in about a year. So let's look at the Lincoln as I walk up to it. You'll see that the lights come on. They call that the Lincoln Embrace. You can't see it, I'll show it again at night, but um, there is a Lincoln symbol here, a welcome mat, and it's just a big kind of square Lincoln symbol that shines on the side and the door handles uh, there's also a light behind the door handles. You can see the light there will light up on all four door handles. So, um, comparing just the outside of the Lincoln MKZ, let's go ahead and do a walk around of the Lincoln first and then we'll do a walk around of the Lexus. I really like the profile, the sloping hoods on both, or the slo sloping roofs on both. get back here far enough this is the back of the Lincoln which I think is um, one of the best looking backs on any car out there with that solid line um, kind of reminds me of the old Dodge Challengers that have that solid line in the back although the whole thing isn't a brake light like this one is or lights up at night like this one does um, but yeah I think it's just a very good overall profile and let's look at the Lexus now. So, yeah, the Lexus is probably my favorite car out of the three, just in terms of uh, driving it. Uh, the Lexus, this one has a V6, three and a half liter, pushing about 303 horsepower. I don't know how many pound feet of torque. You can see that it has the upgraded LED triple beam headlights. It also has the adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist that'll keep you in the center of the lane. These are 18 inch rims. And you can see it kind of has the same sloping as the Lincoln in the back. And then I'll show you the back of the Lexus. Here, so I'm get my paper back. Here's the back of the Lexus. You can see my combat engineer license plate. The dual exhausts. Chrome tips. 
Now in terms of uh, exterior styling, I prefer the Lincoln. Um, even though I do like the Lexus front grille, the new front grille. 19 is the first year for the body style change of the new Lexus lineup, of the new ES350 lineup. They wanted to make it look a lot like the LS, and this is known as the Baby LS. Which is funny because this is known as the Baby Continental, and 17 was also the first year that they changed the front grille to match the Continental that came out in 17. Um, as far as exterior, this one does have the 19 machined aluminum rims, 19 inches. These are an upgrade. I think normally this as a reserve um, is the trim level of this uh, MKZ. Uh, as a reserve, it normally comes with these black rims, but you can get these rims as an upgrade. I think they're like 1200 bucks upgrade. Of course, I didn't pay that because I bought the car used. I'm sure I paid that in some form or fashion, but um, you do have your Sirius satellite um, receiver right here, and the actual FM AM is built into the window, I believe like right here somewhere. The Lexus just has an all-in-one shark fin. Um, let's see what more we can talk about on the outside. You have your chrome, chrome. The gas tank does lock. The gas tank on the Lincoln does not. The car is locked right now, but as you can see, the gas tank will still open up and it's one of those easy fuel, has no cap. But the nice thing about this is uh, unlike the Lexus, it is on a spring hinge. Um, so the wind won't blow the cap close or the wind won't blow the cover close while you're trying to fuel. The Lexus, on the other hand, even though it does have a locking door, it does not have a um, spring in it. So sometimes that door will try and close onto the gas pump as you're fueling up. Uh, other exterior features of the Lincoln uh, versus the ES350 is you have these folding, power folding mirrors, which these fold when you turn, uh, when you lock the car and close it. Um, they unfold when you get in the car and close the door. So, or close the door and lock it, they'll fold. You open the door and close it, they'll unfold. The 19 does not have power folding mirrors. They did not add that until 2020. So, um, these are manual. You have to fold them yourself. Now, this also does have the 360 camera along with the backup camera. So, whenever you're parking, um, you'll see a top-down view of the car with everything around you. You can also push a button when you're pulling forward to see the forward camera, which is right there. Um, and that uh, will show you what's in front of your car. So when I pulled into my garage, the sensors will detect the wall in my garage in front of me, and the front camera will come on, so it made it very convenient to pull in as close as I could to the wall to make sure that I was maximizing the space in my garage. The Lincoln does not have a forward facing camera on any trim level. Um, it does have a rear view camera. It does have a rear view camera. Um, so when you're backing up, but I believe it does come with the 360 camera. If you get, if you get the technology package, I'm not hundred percent sure, but it does not, it'll never have a forward camera. The Lincoln also comes available with a technology package of adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist, lane keep warning. This does not have that package. As you can see, there's no camera up here um, to keep in the lanes. Uh, let's see here. What are the exterior features? Um, neither car has fog lights. This one does have lights on the bottom that light up while you're driving. Um, and also your daytime running light lamps will include the bottom fog they're not really fog lights but the bottom lamps as well as you can see the lexus does not have fog lights i don't know if they're available in the lexus or not so let's see here any more exterior things they're both um keyless entry so when you come up and touch the handle 
does unlock. When you close it and touch this little part right here, it will lock. The Lincoln is the same way. And then I'll have a chance to show you the power folding mirrors now. So when you touch this, it will unlock. All right. And now the mirrors, actually, I think I might have to do it on the driver's side. So I wanted to show you these mirrors, how they fold. So I'll get in, right, close the door. The mirrors fold out so that you're ready to drive. And then when you lock the car, you just touch this little thing right here and they fold back in. That's pretty neat because these mirrors are not cheap. Um, I had a friend with the Subaru Ascent, or no, no, with the Volkswagen Passant and um, the mirror replacement to get it painted and installed and everything was about a thousand bucks all said and done. So these mirrors on these cars are not cheap, especially the ones with the uh, with the blind spot monitors. This one does have a blind spot monitor, just like the Lexus has a blind spot monitor. And Subaru has it too. So, um, not that we're talking about the Subaru right now, but just to kind of, I like having the blind spot monitors, even though I'm an old school driver and I still check my blind spot, you know, by looking over my shoulder. I like having the blind spot monitors as kind of a double check to make sure that I looked correctly you know, and wasn't glancing too quickly like I did today on the highway and I almost cut somebody off because I just glanced very quickly and was like, oh. And then I put on my blinker to move to the other lane and the blind spot monitor was flashing at me and that's how I knew that there was someone in that lane. So I did not crash into them. So it has saved me a few times. You know, sometimes you get lazy and don't check all your stuff, so. But anyways, I think that's about all for exterior styling. The Lincoln has HID headlights, high intensity discharge, xenon bulbs. So you can see there the bulb. They are not as bright. You can see the LEDs there that light up at night. They are not as bright as these triple beam headlights or LED headlights. These are all LED. And you can see this is the running lamp here. And these triple beams are amazing. They are uh, adaptive, meaning that they turn with the car. They also self-level to level with the road as you're going up and down. Um, but those are an $1,800 upgrade. So if you get the standard lights, they are LED. They're just not triple beam like that. Um, I believe Lincoln does have a LED light that are triple beams as well, but that's also an upgrade. So... Um, trying to think what else these are adaptive headlights as well they turn with the car they do not self-level though so they'll turn with the steering wheel when you're at certain speeds going around corners and stuff they'll stare into the corner and out of the corner and things like that uh, windshield wipers are courtesy wipes so when you spray your windshield it will wash the windshield and then give you one final courtesy wipe the same as what the lexus does like i said these two cars are very similar they're direct competitors um, they're just um, two totally different beasts next I will uh, compare the inside of each car and the features so stay tuned uh, for another video thanks for watching the uh, exterior video of the Lexus and Lincoln MKZ take care